Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's Halls. So today, as you guys know, I'm working through some chronic illness treatments and I've really moved more into the naturals and I'm finding a lot of success. And it is crazy to me that after going to about 40 different doctors um, for several different things, mainly autoimmune as well as gastro, which autoimmune can mean a lot. And so it's really vague when doctors say autoimmune. And I personally get a little bit frustrated with them because there are answers. The autoimmune system functions from the gut. So what's going on with the gut when you have these specific autoimmune disorders that you're occurring? Um, so, you know, I, I found a lot of natural treatments, both through my own research as well as my integrative health doctor, that have been really beneficial. So today I wanted to talk about mold toxicity and what is a natural treatment for mold toxicity. So many of you guys do not know whether or not you have mold toxicity as it can be hidden. And even if you do the test, which I will link below for mold toxicity treatment and um, as well as the test to find out if you do, sometimes this can be hid by a biofilm. So biofilms, and if you guys haven't seen this video, go check out my bio film video it explains what a biofilm is and how it can prevent you from getting healed um, or seeing results on a test so if you take a mold treatment test and it shows that you have nothing but you're almost sure you have mold toxicity then it could be a result of biofilm which is a thick layer of sludge that blocks in the bad toxins and so when the test happens it is not seen because it is hidden behind this thick layer of wall but it is still affecting your body like you feel it would so that actually brings us to our first point. Guys, definitely check out my biofilm video if you haven't already. It's great for learning all about uh, mold toxicity as well as chronic illness period. So one of the first things that you want to do when treating for mold toxicity is find something that can break down that biofilm. Now, I've been using modified citrus pectin and I've seen a lot of success with it. I can feel my body getting better and sometimes it's going to take like six months to a year with all of these treatments to get it cleared out. Um, now, a lot of traditional doctors don't really see mold toxicity as a real thing. They also don't see leaky gut um, or candida overgrowth or yeast overgrowth or like intestinal permeability. And these are all hyper tied in together. So it's really frustrating to me when doctors tell you these things are just normal and everybody feels that way and you just got to deal with it. No, there are answers and you can get them very easily. And I'm happy to help you guys figure this out. It took me a long time, but I'm happy to do it. So the first thing you really want to do is make sure you've got some kind of biofilm breakdown. So for me, I've been using modified citrus pectin, which is literally like the fruit pulp as well as the skin peelings, really like hyper, um, concentrated and it is known to break up the biofilms but it also binds to these heavy metals as well as mold toxins um, that and it does not deplete the body of essential minerals like other things like antibiotics would do or pretty much any prescription that the doctor hands you it's gonna have some kind of adverse effect on the body and I am over that as my started taking a lot of really heavy medications for my doctors it really messed me up with a lot of problems that I'm now I'm left to solve um, in addition to the original problems that they never solved, they just put a band-aid over it. So let's keep going. So modified citrus pectin is a dietary supplement that might help to prevent the spread of cancer, lower the risk of heart disease, and treat people with certain types of heavy metal poisoning. Unlike normal pectin, this is more digestible than regular pectin um, as it is modified. So it is slightly chemically modified, but not in the sense that it has chemicals in it. It is just certain things are taken out of it to make it more concentrated and more digestible. Um, so that is that uh, I've been using it and I will put a link below to each of these medications that I'm talking about. And I will even put it in a list showing mold toxicity treatment programs and guys make sure to like it, subscribe and comment below. If you are having any of these things, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to spread the word to all of you guys out there and help other people like myself. So, Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, and then the second thing you're really gonna want is an ultra binder. So as you're breaking up these biofilms, what ends up happening is that a lot of these toxins are released into the body. And what toxins are released into the body, that is when the autoimmune um, decides to turn on and try and fight these things. So sometimes what can happen with mold toxicity or even just biofilm problems in general is once the biofilm starts to break down, you can notice that you might get a little bit sicker and that is a result of the all the toxins coming out. So you really want to find something that can bind to these toxins and which are made of natural materials and can effectively bind with a wide array of environmental contaminants and they allow our body to detoxify them safely and naturally. So you shouldn't be seeing as much sickness as if you were just taking if you just take a biofilm killer you're going to experience some of these things that really come out and affect your immune system or your immune system starts to attack them. So definitely get a binder and 
honestly, you can say that GI binders latch onto notorious chemicals and toxins, rendering them inactive and allowing us to excrete them safely. It is a simple act of binding toxins. They are a powerful aid in our detoxification system, not only at the level of the gut, but also the liver, kidneys, and at the cellular level. So I will put a specific link to the one that I've been using. It is natural. It is working. Like, like I said, I'm feeling myself get better every and every day, like truly. Um, but in addition to that, if you guys want to keep reading this, there is so many benefits to these toxin binders, but it works best in combination with a biofilm killer. So the next thing is NAC. Now NAC is highly essential for our body because it is the precursor for glutathione and glutathione also helps and aids in the detoxification pr process, but also helps maintain a healthy liver and healthy kidneys. Now I've been taking glutathione now for probably six months and I suffer from autoimmune disorders and I've been taking it in conjunction with some other medications, um, not some of these that I've listed here. I've just been taking it period and it has immensely helped. I have chronic idiopathic urticaria, which is chronic hives, but it can also help with other disorders such as like eczema. It, it's got such a wide array, but NAC is the precursor for that. For glutathione. Now, NAC is not something that naturally occurs in our body, but it is necessary for glutathione production. And as we get older, our glutathione levels start to decrease and it can be blocked too by certain things going on inside the body. So I personally suffered from that. My glutathione levels are super low because my body isn't figuring out how to reproduce them. And that is partly because of the environmental toxins as well as mold that are fighting and killing this glutathione that is necessary to excrete these bad things. So as I was doing more research on NAC, I found that it is highly essential to pretty much everyday life. Um, it has got some amazing properties. So as you guys can see here, NAC is needed to make and replenish glutathione. Glutathione is one of the body's most important antioxidants, which helps neutralize free radicals that can damage cells and tissues. So NAC not only helps with detoxification um, or to prevent dysfunction in the kidney and liver, but it also helps improve psychiatric disorders and addictive behavior. This can include bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, ADD, um, chronic fatigue. But in addition to that, guys, it helps relieve symptoms of respiratory conditions such as COPD, asthma. There is a long list of all of the different things that NAC can help with um, under these big main bullet points. Now, I did not write them here for time. And here I had to do another slide on it because it is crazy how much NAC can help the body. So in addition to its psychiatric effects, it can also boost brain health by regulating glutamate, which is also necessary and is used by glutathione and replenish glutathione. Well, there you go. And glutathione is again, highly essential. Um, and another thing is that it may improve fertility in both men and women. Now, apparently men suffer from more infertility than women do. Um, and so men who are infertile can definitely add this to their regimen. It definitely can't hurt. The only thing about NAC, the only bad side effect of it is that it tastes really bad and it smells really bad. So I personally prefer, prefer this brand and I will put a link below. You can't really smell it. Um, and I drink it with some kind of juice, quite honestly, just because if I drink it with water, I can't taste it. But I don't mind the taste when it comes to all of these different things. So in addition to that, it may stabilize blood sugar by decreasing inflammation in fat cells. Now, inflammation, guys, is the number one cause of chronic illness. Not only does it lead to intestinal permeability, which can lead to like full body illnesses, because once your intestine is permeated and has holes in it, what happens is these toxins that are stuck in your intestine, if you are suffering from chronic illness, will go into the bloodstream. And once they're in the bloodstream, it's much harder to get a hold of them. So taking any Thing that helps with inflammation is highly essential to a chronic illness or mold toxicity treatment program. So in addition to this, it may reduce heart disease risk by preventing oxidative damage. And the bottom line, oops, is that it plays several important roles in human health. It can help with addictive behavior, including tobacco or marijuana or drugs in general. So guys, if you do suffer from addictive behavior, this can also help with that. There's just like, uh, I know this isn't about mold right now, but this is mind blowing about how crazy it is. So as we talk about how important NAC is for the glutathione, which glutathione is the number one essential antioxidant our body needs to release free radicals as well as keep our body moving in a proper way, 
we will move on to the glutathione thing. And I didn't write a lot about this because I've been talking about it for a while, but glutathione is a substance that creates free radicals. Um, well, substances that create free radicals can be found in foods, medicines, water, and the air we breathe. These substances include fried foods, alcohol, tobacco, pesticides, air pollutants, mold, and mycotoxins. And mycotoxins are basically mold toxins. Accordingly, the late, okay, doesn't need to know that, um, renowned environmental toxologists, the toxins produced by mold are basically free radicals. They have a reactive oxygen radicals that bind to fabrics and can be released into the air over time. Thus, mold and mycotoxins in the home environment can be a significant source of oxidative stress. So when it says oxidative stress, it doesn't just mean like stress. It means stress on the body, meaning a whole plethora of chronic health issues. Um, now, a lot of us don't realize, but we do have some mold toxicity in our body. And like I said earlier, guys, I will put a link below for a test that you can do at home. It is a dry pee test, and it will test the levels of mold you have in your body, as well as the different types of mold you have in your body. And pretty much all of them can be fixed using this regimen. So the next thing I am taking for my mold toxicity program is buffered vitamin C. Now this differs just from vitamin C as it is more clarified and has a more potent effect on the body as well as it's more absorbed by the body. Sometimes we hear things that um, these over-the-counter supplements don't really get digested in the body and the best way to give vitamin C is through foods, which, you know, I agree, food is the best way to give vitamins, but it can take a while for that actually to get in. And buffered vitamin C is um, way more potent and way more digestible. So vitamin C, of course, as you guys know, is a powerful antioxidant when the human body is bombarded as well as we are by various environmental pollutants such as mold and mycotoxins, chemicals, heavy metals, chronic illnesses, and virus, organ systems may suffer the consequences of oxidative stress or rusting. So really oxidative stress just means like your body is dying. Like oxidative stress happens when you have heart attacks, strokes, um, diabetes, like addictions, brain issues, inflammation. So Oxidative stress is a broad term for chronic nastiness in the body and really not functioning. Um, vitamin C helps to mitigate the impact of these pollutants and it helps clear the air. Oh, I just read the wrong thing. Okay, whatever, guys. Um, but yes, so it is very important that you start taking vitamin C in this regimen. And again, I am putting links below to each of these medications. Now, so far, that is kind of what I have been using in, in conglomeration with each other for my mold toxicity treatment program, um, which I've kind of just created myself. And I've worked with my doctors, um, integrative health doctors. Guys, I'm going to tell you, you are not going to find a regular general practitioner uh, or or dermatologist, or immunologist, or allergist, or gastro, or endocrinologist that will help you with this. I can promise you. I have been begging for over a year, and I started taking certain things, but I didn't feel confident enough in myself, and I knew that some of the medications I was taking could lead to further sickness. Now, the list of medications I just gave you are supposed to be taken in conjunction with each other to help not only cleanse these toxins break down the biofilms, bind to the toxins, clean them out of the system, but it's also supposed to mitigate the amount of immune response you have to these toxins being re-exposed to the body after the biofilm is broken through. So guys, please like this video, please subscribe, comment below if you are having similar issues, check out my video of what the issues are, the side effects are of toxic mold syndrome or um, just mold toxicity in the body in general because they might be more common than you actually think and mold toxicity in the body is way more common than you think. So by taking these natural supplements, you can try and get your body back into a more natural regimen and feeling better and looking better. Um, so it's, it's highly important and they don't have any downsides aside from some of their smells or taste. So it's... It definitely can't hurt, even if you are having some of these symptoms, but not all of them, go ahead and try them. These are also highly beneficial for people with Lyme's disease. So if you suffer from Lyme's disease and you think you're never gonna be able to get away from it, you're wrong. There are several Lyme's disease treatment programs. Most of these medications are medications within them because what happens is the Lyme disease gets trapped under biofilm, locked in there for good, and continues to harass you for the rest of your life. So if you guys want to go to a normal doctor and figure this stuff out, that is fine. I, you can bring them the list, but I have a feeling most of them will not know the names of these products and what they do because I've checked with my doctors at Hopkins. Yes, I said Hopkins, and they do not know of these natural medications that have immense success. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Sorry this was so long. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.